Would you like students to submit their work electronically on JTLearn? Watch the screencast to learn how to use JTLearn submission libraries or document libraries for student work. To get started, it is important to remember anytime you want to create a web part on your JTLearn page that you'd like to collect information from students, you must use Future Builder to create it. Because we want to collect student work, we must use Future Builder to create the submission library. By using Feature Builder, all the permissions and student settings are provisioned for you with just a few clicks. Navigate to your teacher page. On there, Feature Builder should be installed. If not, stop here and refer to the Adding Feature Builder to JTLearn video. Once at Feature Builder, select Document Library for Student Work. Decide upon a name. Keep in mind, you can only use this name once. If you used it in the past and never truly deleted it, you will be unable to use that name again until it's deleted. Some common names include Submit Here, Assignment Submission, and Assignment Dropbox. Next, you must decide if you want your submission library on your course or period pages. Choose one or the other. If you place your submission library on your course page, all students enrolled within that course will submit there. Therefore, depending on the number of periods for that course, you may have a large number of students submitting in one area. You can use folders to organize this if you'd like. You can also choose to place your assignment submission library on your period pages. If you choose this, only students enrolled in that period will be able to submit there. You can also use folders here to organize assignments. Make sure that you choose one or the other. Because I have many periods of the same course, I'm going to choose to put my submission library on the period pages. Leave this box checked if you'd like the title of your submission library to display on the quick launch or side navigation. Then, choose whether you'd like to be alerted via email when students add or make a change within the library. You can choose no alerts, to be alerted immediately, or daily at a certain time. Finally, you have the choice on inserting additional columns within your assignment submission library for students. These additional columns will help you sort and organize student work. However, keep in mind any columns you choose here become required fields for students. If they do not fill out these columns, their assignments do not get submitted. If you choose all three columns, it will look like this. The period column is helpful if you choose to put your library on the course page as you can then sort by period. Last name is always helpful. In case students do not use the proper naming convention of a last name assignment name. And assignment can be helpful for sorting as well, but keep in mind you must populate the assignment titles in the Dropbox menu before students submit. If you do not do this, students will be unable to properly submit. If you choose this column, be sure to watch the Creating an Assignment in JTLearn video. Once you have decided upon all your features, you could go ahead and click Finish. It may take a second, but you will then get a green message below stating they were created successfully. If you do not, something went wrong. From here, you should be able to get started with having students submit electronically on JTLearn. As you continue with student submissions, be sure to watch the tips and tricks to grading student work. Happy grading!